Welcome, welcome. It's Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy bringing you another Star Citizen video. And today we are at day nine of the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo 2952. So that means another manufacturer. This is actually the last manufacturer that is going to be showcased for the IAE. Everything else is best in show. Uh, and then they have, you know, everything on sale. So today's manufacturer is none other, none other than Roberts Space Industries. So that's RSI. Uh, they make ships like the Bingle Carrier. Uh, well, let, let's just dive in. You'll see all the other ships that they make. So very first thing you'll see when you come to the RSI page is this brand new beauty called the Galaxy. Uh, Galaxy is a decent sized ship and it's going to be modular. You'll be able to get a cargo bay, a med bay, refinery, um, and then eventually some other uh, modules down the road. This thing is going to be pretty cool. As you can see, this is the cargo bay here. This is the med bay. And then this is going to be the refinery. And they kind of go into all the different things with this ship. You can see it's got a huge open bridge. Uh, you can see out the view screen. It, it just it looks pretty cool. Uh, if you want to look at the different decks and stuff, they have pictures of those. I like the shape of the ship. It's <laughs> the shape of the ship. Well, that's hard to say. Say that fast three times. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I like the way that this thing looks. It's got the wide open corridors that RSI is uh, going to be known for. And it's got this uh, hanger in the back of the ship, which you can see easily fits a Pisces. I'm not sure what else it's going to be designed to fit back there but you know easily fitting the pisces could also look like it may fit maybe a cutlass if you're lucky uh, so we'll have to wait and see what it's really designed for there is a q a up that you can ask questions for thing is going to be 110 meters long 60 meters wide 22 tall meant for a crew of six it's going to have three remote dual size five turrets two si uh, size four missile or i guess two racks of four size two missiles uh extra small hangar size so probably not a cutlass you're looking at the pisces the buccaneer those type ships and then a size three shield this thing isn't meant to be a combat ship it is more of an industrial ship and you can see along with the prices how much this ship is going for. Uh, you could get it with the modules in it. So like the freighter version is $415. You get the lifetime insurance in that. The Galaxy Hospital version, $430. And you can see it's actually worth more than the other two. And then the Galaxy Refinery, $425. Those are all war bond. So it's new cash in the game. And they all come with lifetime insurance. Now, if you wanted to go with the non-war bond versions, just uh, using credits and whatnot, it's 450 for the freighter, 470 for the hospital, and 460 for the refinery. You can also get the complete pack uh, with concierge. It's $530, and you get the protector paint. Uh, Non-concierge, it's still $530, but you don't get that protector paint with it. Now, this comes with all three modules, so eventually in the game you'll be able to switch them out. Uh, and then if you want to do credit, it is going to be 570 uh, with credit. Then you can look at the standalone if you want to get it without any modules at all. I don't know why you'd really want to do that unless you're getting a future module or... I don't know. $350 um, war bond, so that's new cash. Uh, that's You get the protector plant paint if you're concierge. If not, uh, you know, I, I like actually like the regular paint job on this thing more than the special paint. Uh, if you ask me, it's much cooler. But 350 and 380 for cr credits. And then if you want to buy the protector paint separately, it's $13. If you want to buy the modules separately, you're talking $70 for the cargo module. And then uh, medbay module, this is IAE, so it's uh, probably 10 year insurance. Uh, Medbay module is $90. Refinery module is $80. And then you can also upgrade into the Galaxy as well. So, pretty cool ship. 
Uh, let me know in the comments if this is one you're picking up. I know there's a few people in the org that decided to get this, and then there's a few people that decided that uh, maybe they'd wait on it. They just don't know if they really want to go into this thing. Uh, it's supposed to be kind of like the big brother to the constellation. Seems like it does some of the some different duties that the constellation doesn't do, but it's a much larger size ship. So I imagine we'll see a, quite a few of these in game. Now moving on to other ships that RSI have to offer. You're looking at the Apollo Medevac, which is a hospital ship. You're going to be able to do surgeries while you're flying. You're going to be able to go into hot zones, pick people up, and triage them. The Apollo Medevac is $275. If you want the, uh, I guess, stripped down version that doesn't have as much armor or, or the same amount of guns, you can get the triage version, and that's $250 right now. Then... We talk about entry-level ships with the Aurora line. Uh, the ones that started it all, this is the Aurora CL. It's $45 to get it. You can get the Aurora ES for $20, the Aurora LN for $40, the Aurora LX for $35, and finally the Aurora MR for $30. Can't go wrong with an Aurora. Uh, ask Tesk, the test. Uh, that's a must-have for their org, and they've got over 20,000 people. So, uh, you know, that's at least 20,000 Auroras that you may see in game. Then moving on to the Constellation Andromeda. This is a four person ship and it's kind of a jack of all trades, but a master of none. It's kind of a gunship. It's got a it's cargo. You have a snub fighter in it. Uh, you got a couple of turrets. So it, it's, it's probably a pretty good value at $240 if you've got a crew of four, you know, three other buddies that want to fly along with you and try out a different, uh, different gameplay loops in the game. If you step up a little bit to the Constellation Aquila, this is the exploration version. You'll be able to go out into deep space with this thing. It's got sensors to be able to uh, track jump points and uh, just all sorts of scientific anomalies. Uh, it does also come with the snub fighter that you can use to... I guess, you know, help support the ship, defend the ship, and, you know, maybe even use it to go down planet side if you really want to. Also has the bay in there for uh, your rover as well. Then moving up to the Constellation Phoenix at $350. This is, uh, well, they have it as exploration, but it's more of a touring ship. It's for VIPs. Uh, you know, people want to pay high dollar to get a luxury experience on a constellation and fly around the verse you know that that's one of the ships that they will decide to do that on uh, of course that gameplay loop is not in the game yet but eventually probably sooner rather than later you'll be able to tote VIP NPCs all over the verse and get paid to do it and you can do that in your Phoenix then you also have the constellation Taurus that is the cargo variant of the Constellation. It can carry more cargo than any of the other variants. I mean, it's designed for that. And it also has a smuggler's compartment as well. So you'll be able to smuggle things past the authorities in this ship as well. All the Constellations are designed with about the same amount of crew uh, in mind. So you know, keep that in mind. And of course, you know, you saw the Galaxy here. It's 380. This is without any of the modules. Then you have the Mantis. The Mantis is kind of a one-of-a-kind ship in the game right now. It's the only ship that can pull people out of quantum, uh, stop them dead in their tracks, and then keep them from jumping away. <coughs> the Cutlass Blue also has the capability of keeping them get away, but it can't pull them out of quantum. Only the Mantis can do that right now. And I'm actually thinking that we will see a Corvette-sized ship that's capable of doing the same thing somewhere down the road. Uh, of course, there's such a backlog on new concepts right now. We may not see that one for quite a while, but it only makes sense that they would, you know, up the gameplay loop of that and actually expand the amount of territory that you can pull people out of quantum and keep them pinned in so that you can either, you know, interrogate them or you know, search them or take them over, whatever gameplay loop that you're planning on doing with that. Uh, obviously, it's illegal in Stanton to do that, so you'll get a crime stat. So keep that in mind. 
Then we move on to the big boy, the granddaddy of all mining ships, the Orion. This thing has grown massively in size since it was first concepted. I think it was supposed to be 100 meters long, and now it's up to like 300. Uh, you can see all the amount of mining cargo that you'll be able to have, all the material, minerals, or whatever that you mine. Uh, this thing is going to be a one-stop shop for mining, and I definitely recommend uh, that if you are going to be a mining player, that you eventually pick one of these up, whether in-game or uh, before this thing launches. Right now it's 575. Most likely by the time it launches, it's going to be up to probably 650 or even 700, uh, you know, by the time it's out and ready for you to fly. Moving on, probably my favorite ship that's not in the game yet is the Perseus. This one's designed for a crew of three or four, and it is a gunship. It is a, a combat frigate. I mean, it's going to have... A couple of turrets with size 7 guns on it so it's going to be able to take on capital ships uh, it's, it's got some crazy armor I mean this thing is a capital ship killer and I really like the idea or the way that this ship should play in the future with those size 7s uh, it'll also come with I think size 4 missiles or maybe they're size 5 torpedoes something along those lines uh, to help you take on some smaller ships, uh, but it'll also have some anti-air turrets as well. So the Perseus comes in at $675. Uh, kind of crazy for such a small crew, a ship being that much. None of the other ships in that price range have that small size of a crew. Uh, so keep that in mind. Polaris. Now this one has quite a bit more crew member requirements at $750. This is a combat Corvette. It is a torpedo boat. It's designed to torp the crap out of anything that it sees. You're not going to engage close up with this ship. You're going to fire a bunch of torpedoes from long range and uh, hope that they do their, do their business. It comes with something like 40 size 10 torpedoes. Uh, it's, it's nasty. It does have a fighter bay that you'll be able to launch a fighter from. I think those crew requirements on this one is uh, somewhere along the lines of 10 to 15 or something like that. I mean, we could always look at it and it might tell us. Uh, well, I could go into more info here. Uh, it doesn't tell me right here. But you can look it up on the uh, ship page and it'll be able to tell you how many crew requirements. A lot of people or a lot of orgs are going to use this as their org flagship in the game uh, because it can crew that many people and it's just going to be a great base of operations for a lot of folks uh, so the polaris super popular super pricey at 750 dollars then we have one of the new kids on the block this heavy fighter that they call the scorpius the scorpius has four size guns that the pilot the four size three guns that the pilot can control and then you have a co-pilot that can control four size threes as well that are capable of shooting anywhere above the ship or below the ship as it's on a turret that will actually, uh, it's on rails that will rotate around the ship. So pretty neat, $240 for that one. Then you have the Ursa Rover at $50. This is one of gonna, gonna be one of the coolest ground vehicles you'll be able to get in the game or that you'll be able to use. It can carry quite a few people and even some cargo if you want. Uh, it's great for riding all over the every terrain. I, I really like the rover. That's one of my favorite ground vehicles. Uh, that's, that's all you have for ships. And right now the Mantis is the 10-year insurance upgrade that they're having. And again, you have Jax McCleary's videos, which are really awesome. And this one definitely uh, we're culminating into some super excitement here with this video. Then, finally, you have the complete pack for RSI, War Bond Editions, $3,925. And if you do with credit, it's $4,375. So, quite pricey. Uh, but if you're a real RSI fan, that's probably the way you're going to want to go. And you can get the mug for $12.25 on Concierge or $17.50. And the RSI gear pack is $3.50 
or again, you could go with the IAE Celebration Pack at $25. So there you have it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Again, are you going to get pick up the Galaxy? What ships of RSI are you going to pick up? Which ones are your favorite? Which ones do you absolutely can't stand and hate? Let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. I'm my dog with the Texas Space Navy. I'll see you out in the verse.